So everybody has a department where the Holy Spirit will let you determine how far you want to go in the grace of God. Everybody has a department within themselves where you can choose how far you'll go. I want to talk to you about the four beasts. The four beasts are a part of the moving of the spirit that happens. And the move of the spirit that happens, that's designated for the earth, is also accompanied by the four beasts. The four beasts, they carry the winds of God's spirit, his power. They carry the assignment to bring organization to how God want to touch people on earth. They also carry the agenda of God. In Revelation chapter six, I want you to look at this. The four beasts, they had access to the seal of God. But then they also had access to invite John in and for John to see it. So when they invited John in, it shows you that they are stewarding that department of God. It's hidden and only they have been entrusted by the Lord to bring people in to know it. The four beasts, you want to catch that is two times two is two plus two. So it's two twice. It's double two. Remember how the word says two is better than one. Remember I told you how the Lord loves two. That's why he made Adam, but it was two people. Adam was not one person. It was two people. So when you, when you see Adam, you might say it was one man. But man actually meant two people. So when God made man, he made two people. And guess what? The second person was in the first person. When God made Adam, man, it was two people, but you first saw one. The other one was invisible. That's another revelation that a woman must have until she becomes invisible in the man that she came from. Every woman came from a man. Until that woman became invisible, that woman was invisible and now she becomes visible when God takes that rib out. The reason why um, God took one of the bones out of Adam because those bones was guarding his heart, his organs within his body. And the organs within your body is like the programming that keeps the body working. So God took woman out of a programming that makes things work. That's why if a woman is evil, things stop working good. If a woman is good, things start working good. Because God took the woman out of a working programming. Adam had a rib that was protecting all of his inward parts. So same a woman is given the ministry to protect her Adam. To protect his inward parts. And the inward parts in the spirit really represent anointing, vision. Ministry, assignment, focus, mentality. So hop on.
So. <laughs> See real quick. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Son, think about that. God took woman out in, from the same area where the organs were. Wow. The functionality of the body. Mm -hmm. Now, when we go deep on this, the body of Christ is a woman. Mm -hmm. So, the body of Christ how could it be a woman when we know that Jesus was a man? Mm. So the body of Christ was hidden in Jesus. Oh, whoa. Oh. Just the same way that um, woman was hidden in Adam, mm. the body of Christ was hidden in Jesus. So the Christ realm is really where there is um, the invisible you coming out. Mm, wow. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. Whoa. Whoa. The Christ realm, because the woman was invisible. Mm -hmm. The church was invisible. Body of Christ, invisible. But when there is a pullout. <laughs> Couch. <laughs> After you live life, you can't hear that without laughing. <laughs> you be like, hey, uh, yes, yeah, so there's a pull-out couch over. <laughs> they try to say it to you serious. <laughs> you can't have it, Tosin. Yeah, they, it doesn't need two pull out chick couches inside of it. There's <laughs> 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 soapy be right now. Yeah, there's, two, there's a pull out couch. They're like, oh, that's confirmation. There's two people right here watching us that took their eyelashes off. <laughs> 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 they took their eyelashes off. They got bald eyelashes right now. <laughs> son, they must stop laughing. Now, son, now here's 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 why God hides himself. Because the law of hiding means that there's something invisible that needs to come forth. Mm. The law of hiding. Mm. Wow. There's something invisible that needs to come forth. So watch this. When God hides, why is he really hiding? Because there's a side of him that needs to come forth. And do you know what that side is? You. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. That's why the word keeps saying you're in Christ. You're in Christ. Mm. You're in Christ. Whoa. So you're actually in Christ. In Christ. Wow. Wow. So the Lord hides himself so that in Christ will become a reality because you're the one in Christ. Mm. Wow. The law of hiding is to bring something that's invisible into visibility. Wow. So powerful. And that's why it says that the... Jesus or the Lord is looking for someone to stare themselves to seek mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes, that's why um, Papa been teaching about that. Every day you have to look the will of the Lord. You're not in the will of the Lord every day. Mm -hmm. You have to seek his face. You have to seek a moment. And in that moment is for, for your truly you come out in Christ. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if you think about it, inside of Hadassah was Esther. Mm -hmm. Inside of Jacob was Israel. Wow. Inside of Abram was Abraham. Wow. 
inside of Sarai was Sarah. I'm going to say something you never heard before. Inside of Judas was Matthias. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't play with it. <laughs> wow. 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 Hmm. Thank you so much. <laughs> 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 it's so deep, man. It's so deep. Do you... <laughs> I don't think that some of y'all be really knowing what's happening to you. Wow. I'll be, I'm giving you so much power of the spirit, the spirit of might, mm. the spirit of might. Wow. You're being strengthened with the spirit of might. Think about that. Inside of Judas was Matthias. Wow. Inside of Saul was Apostle Paul. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then inside of Saul in the Old Testament was David. Mm. Wow. Wow. Listen, and, and I want you to hear me. This is why you never want to casualize the Lord. Because there's another one of you on earth. Mm. Man, wow. you're not hearing me. Wow. There's somebody else on earth that is in you. I'm talking about uh, order and arrangement spiritually. They are in you, but you don't even know who they are. And they'll come out of you as a visible person fulfilling something that you are supposed to fulfill, but you don't want to. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because inside of the first Adam was Jesus. Mm-hmm. Now, watch this here, son. So when Adam gets the woman pregnant, he has Cain and he has Abel. You notice Abel gets crucified by his brother. Mm -hmm. wow. So even the child that Adam produced, the first Adam, became a type of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Where Abel came to his own mm. and his own received him not. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Thank you again. <laughs> right. <laughs> Now, think about this. While Abel came to his own, his own received him not, which is the same thing that happened to Jesus. He came to his own, which was supposed to be his own family, which is the children of Israel. They received him not. And to as many as received him, he gave unto them the power to become the sons of God. Now, look at what happened. Jesus gets crucified by the people that he came to be his own. Wow. Mm -hmm. And they didn't receive him. <laughs> and why <laughs> wow we see him come to his own <laughs> Wow. 
while we see him come to his own, wait, arrive to his own, <laughs> we see <laughs> while he's arriving to his own, his own is rejected. <laughs> His own is rejecting his arrival. Now, son, watch this here. Abel sheds his blood from crucifixion. Mm -hmm. Jesus sheds his blood through crucifixion. And both of their blood becomes a voice in the spirit. Wow. They cry out from the earth. Wow. Exactly. But see, the reason why Abel, his blood will talk. Because only Jesus' blood could talk. Mm -hmm. So why would Abel's blood talk? Mm -hmm. Because Jesus was in Adam. Wow. Mm -hmm. And when Adam, I'm talking about lineage-wise. See, some of you all might be thinking like, no, no, if Jesus was in him, he wouldn't have sinned. I'm not talking about physically. I'm talking about lineage-wise. Wow. wow. That's why um, the word of God talk about the house of Jacob. Mm -hmm. You like, well, I never met Jacob. No, you meet him when you're a seeker of God. Because Psalm 24 said, what is that generation that seeks the Lord? It's talking about Jacob. Mm -hmm. So the house of Jacob is where you come from when you start seeking the Lord. Wow. Wow. Ain't that something? That's powerful. There is another one of you on earth. This is why you never casualize the calling on your life. You never let yourself stay down for long. You might have times where you get a little, little in, in the flesh. Switch back to the spirit. Because there's another one of you in your lineage that will manifest as you if you don't want to manifest as yourself. Wow. When Elijah said, I don't want to manifest no more. God said, I have another one of you in waiting for manifestation. Uh, and something very powerful you say yesterday about the blood. Mm -hmm. The other one could be the blood manifesting. That is not the, the real you. That's right. The evil twin. The evil twin. And that's the blood, that blood of rebellion, that bad blood. That, 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 that's another person that you wasn't made to be. Mm-hmm. Wow. Because see, that first woman, her name was Adam too. Mm -hmm. But when she listened to the serpent, the serpent was really Satan. So that woman had to switch from God, image of God, to image of Satan. Mm -hmm. wow. So that's the same way that happens with decisions. You could swap from image of God to image of Satan. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. And... Whenever the spirit is taking you from that avenue to the next. You want to be cautious and careful. And you want to say. That if God is taking me from one decision making to the next. I must protect that decision flow and not go to the left or to the right. Wow. Because I don't want to manifest the wrong me. Mm -hmm. Because the right me is going to come forth, even if it's not me. Wow. Because God has another me. <laughs> wow. wow. If me don't want what me supposed to get, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again. <laughs> <laughs> 